looking a mess. I'm looking a mess on purpose. Got my SpongeBob, got my SpongeBob shirt on underneath my Zara dress that I got on inside out. <laughs> house dress, house dress. Let me wait and let some of y'all get off in here. Give y'all a little time to get off in here and make up your mind. Y'all got Corona brain? Do y'all got Corona brain? Hey, Martha. That's what I started calling it Saturday, Corona brain. It's like people are getting Corona brain. They said it affect more people mentally than it affects physically. And it's like people are getting Corona brain, even myself. Just, just going a little cuckoo during these crazy times, getting Corona brain, saying and doing crazy stuff. Just can't think right because so much going on. But yeah, it's not my typical Sunday wear because, of course, we had church on Facebook, Facebook Live today. And it was really good. It was actually really, really good. Almost like just going to church. She really preached that word. Boy. She preached uh, get in the boat and trust God. It was a good one. It's a good one. I was talking about um, she was talking about um the boat when they was on the boat with Jesus and Jesus was resting and then the boat started rocking because the storm was coming and they got worried and they went to him and was like, You don't see this, you ain't gonna help us. What you go? You don't see this? God he, Jesus was on there resting, he wasn't warm at the storm, but they were scared. They thought he wasn't gonna do nothing about it, that they was gonna just leave him like that. And it was just like, trust God. That's what she was saying. Said Jesus looked at him like, y'all don't trust. What kind of trust do y'all have? And I'm right here with y'all. And y'all think that I'm going to let y'all perish in the storm? So do we think he's going to let us perish in this corona storm? Do he think we think he's even going to let us catch it? I ain't catching it. And I ain't perishing from no corona. Right now, I claim it. It's not happening. And I ain't fearing the corona. So yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Make sure you thumbs up the video. Got three people in here watching, so I'm gonna try to go on and get this started, get this haul started. This is a small little haul. Um, got a couple of bags here for you, a couple of bags, a couple of bags. And I thrifted this stuff, not like this past week, but the week before. And what made me stop was when, yeah, so I'm looking rough. This is a quarantine look, quarantine. I get to enjoy my little quarantine days because I still have to work. Doing the quarantine ain't no quarantine for me. So my off days are my quarantine days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's my quarantine day since we still have to go to work. They ain't playing. Amazon just psh, gonna work us to the end. Toyota didn't even uh called off work starting Monday, starting tomorrow. I could the Toyota can call off work. Amazon, you need to call off work. Nobody studying them like low. I got, I got us working like this. They trying to make all these different changes, separating the time clocks out so we can be three feet apart, uh, making the space in between the people on the machine. They're like, okay, well, when we fully staffed, because yesterday it worked because people ain't really been coming in on Saturdays because um they're not counting attendance against us for right now during this virus. So you won't get paid if you don't have PTO, but you cannot come in. Just got to call in, tell them you ain't coming in. You just won't get paid, but um, I'm waiting for, I want the government to just go on call a two-week national quarantine so the Amazon have to pay us for two weeks and we can get out of work. They took our fans and everything. I said, look at them, got us in here, had us in there like a sweatshop on Thursday because it was hot. It's been warm here. To, it was like Wednesday and Thursday. It was really warm. And then now today is cold. Yesterday was cold. This weather's crazy in Kentucky and Lexington. But Wednesday and Thursday was really warm. So inside that plant. It was warm um, Thursday when we we went to lunch, and when my co no Friday we went to lunch. My coworker was like they they was talking about taking our fans. It's like boy, they better I take your fans. I need that fan because it gets hot in that plant. We came back from lunch, the fans was gone. I said, oh Lord. <laughs> they done took the fans. I was in there burning up. I had to go to the ice machine, fill up one of them little bags that we put the products in. I had it sitting on my shoulders till the ice started melting. Then when it started melting, I put it in my stomach like I was praying. They was laughing at me. I said, shoot, I'm not going to pass out over on these machines because they done took the fans. But yesterday it was fine because it was cold outside, so it was it was cool in the plant. Shoot, they need to go on call this national two-week quarantine so we can get this corona crap gone and stop playing since they talking about giving the stimulus checks for 
They're saying $1,200 per adult in the family, $500 per kid, supposedly on the first, but they're still going back and forth and debating how much they're going to give it us, who they're going to give it to, when we're going to get it. So I don't know when they're going to figure that out. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, they was laughing, but I said, shoot, I ain't playing. I was about to pass out. You ain't going to have me pass out. They so busy worrying about Corona. They ain't worrying about people passing out. I said, shoot, now I feel like I'm in China in a sweatshop trying to help us take our fans. Crazy. Them big fans on the ceiling don't help much when it's hot outside. Mm -mm. Shoot, I done made some Corona songs up and everything. That's when you got Corona brain. Look at my hair. I ain't doing nothing to it. I said, I'm coming on this live looking rough. Y'all going to get the rough uncut looking like whatever. Because been in this house, we all probably looking rough. If we've been in, Some of y'all just been in the house on quarantine. So y'all probably just like looking rough. But yeah, one of my songs is, I don't want Corona. Corona is a virus. Can't get no love from me. Hanging at the passenger side of your best friend's ride. Try to cough on me. I don't want Corona. Corona is a virus still gets no love from me. Hanging at the passenger side of your best friend's ride. Try to sneeze on no. Corona. No. Corona. <laughs> yeah, I was making up some songs. I said, I got to make up some songs. I got all kinds of songs for y'all about Corona. Corona Brain. That's my other song. Uh, my other song was about people getting to be at home and, be, and not getting their paycheck, but you still got them bills. That's what it was. You, you're happy because you're in quarantine, not having to work, but you still get them bills. And if your job ain't paying you, them bills will go on. They might say they're shutting it off for a little bit, but they're going to make you pay that back pay. Don't think they're going to just wipe it off. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It was, what was it? Near, far, wherever you are, you are here in your house, but your bills will go on and on. <laughs> My part, my part about still going to work was I'm here. It's nothing they fear. We are here at this job because our bills will go on and on. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I made up some silly Corona songs, y'all. Some silly Corona songs. Gotta have fun in these crazy times, y'all, in these crazy times. But they need to just go on show, call the national two-week quarantine, get people cleaned up, freed up, get all this done so we can um get back to life as we know it. But if not, tomorrow I'm going to make sure, I hope the stock market is open and you can buy airline stock because I was checking the airline stock Friday. It is cheap, cheap, cheap. If y'all have E-Trade or y'all have, can't advantage your advisor at y'all bank. I I tell y'all to go get y'all some airline stock because it is cheap. I think American Airlines is like ten dollars a share. United is like twenty. Um, Delta is like close to thirty, but it might be cheaper now. I ain't checked since I didn't check Friday after that stock market closed. I checked Thursday, but I, if if so, if they ain't shut down where you can buy yet for the airlines like they did after 9-11, eventually they shut it down. They said the airlines are asking for help right now. So they, if they ain't shut it down where you can buy, they about to. See, so y'all better get in there, E-Trade something. I'm going on my E-Trade tomorrow as soon as the stock market opens and buy some shares because um, like some of them, they're like $20 a share right now. I think United, one of those airlines was like at 80 something dollars a share a month ago. And now it's like 20 something. American Airlines was probably at sixty something dollars a share a month ago, and now it's at ten dollars a share. And um, Delta was, uh, I think Delta's the one that was eighty something. And then United was close to it, like seventy something a month ago, and now it's like twenty dollars. I'm about to get some stock in all of them. Spirit wasn't that much of a change. Spirit was kind of expensive. It was still twenty something dollars. I'm like, you said Spirit, so they ain't gonna be much of a increase. But if you do that, United, Delta. Or American, you might be in for a lick when them, when people start traveling again. And it's going to happen. We're going to be traveling again. Traveling's going to shoot back up, and they stock's going to shoot back up. 
So I'm going to buy me some tomorrow if they still letting you buy it. I cannot wait. But don't listen to me because I'm not a financial advisor, but I have helped people, but I can't help myself. I pick bad stock for myself. Don't make no sense. I pick Nokia. But Nokia, it still has a chance. You never know what Nokia could do. But I picked JCPenney because they was talking about that JCPenney was going to do more online stuff. They was sitting here saying all this stuff. And JCPenney, I, I lost big with that, but I don't care. I don't invest too much. I ain't got money like that, but I'm going to invest in these airlines, make a little profit from what I lost from the other stocks. But I gave my friend, a, my co-worker, a heck of a stock advice, told her to buy NVIDIA a couple years ago, and it was like $30 a share. And now it's at $196 a share just two years. like Well, no, it's like four years, four years later, four and a half years later. It's at $196 a share from being $30 a share. So I can give some sound advice, and I'm giving sound advice right now. If y'all got stock, y'all better invest in these airlines because it's going to shoot back up. People complaining because they lose them right now, but you're going to get, just like after 9-11, the airlines went down, but it shot back up when people start traveling again. Once this corona stuff scare is fully gone, people going to start flying again because they done been shut up in their house, can't go nowhere. So them stocks are going to go back up, get y'all a few dollars in your pocket. Okay, let's get into this how. Let's get into this hall. I'm just, I'm over here trying to be, who's, who's the little uh, stock people? I can't even think of his name, but the man that always buys all the company, runs all the company because he buys shares of stock and he's filthy rich. I don't even know his name. Y'all probably know his name. I'm trying to be him. I'm trying to be him. So let's see what I got. But I said this was my last thrift haul to the Corona Pass because when I was in the thrift, the Goodwill, I was in the men's section looking at the shoes and there was a man on the other side of the shelf, what the owl, I guess. I was on this side of the owl, he was on the other side and he was hacking up a lung. And I was just sitting there like, oh, oh. It wasn't no normal cough, it wasn't no regular cough. Either, either he got smoker's cough or so, something was wrong, y'all. Something was wrong and all I could think was Corona. I said, mm, and he just, ah, I'm like, oh, oh Lord. I just kept gradually easing my way to the other end. Then he started easing his way, I'm like, oh. Why are you trying? Don't come down here with this, with your germs. Try and give me your germs. Get up out of here. I just kept saying Corona. He probably heard me. He probably heard me. I said, oh, you over about to die. He probably heard me. I was talking low, but I was, it, you know, I was like, you over about to die. But you got Corona. Oh, my gosh. You know, talking like that. But he might have heard me. I don't know if he could hear me over that cough, but every time he was like, <laughs> I'm like, oh. Help him, Lord. Somebody help him. He's about to pass out in the goodwill on the ground right now. Rest in peace. What's going on with you? I didn't even check them clothes on that side. I said, I won't be going on that side for a few months. I ain't going to go into the rest of the men's section that he went to for a few months. They're going to have to spray it down. I don't care if it just lives on stuff for three days or two days or 24 hours. They keep changing how long it lives on stuff for a long time. But I ain't messing with it. No, no more thrifting for me for a while. So this was my last time going. So I figured I'd go on and show you. I got some good stuff. I did get some good stuff going. And that's the bad thing about it because less people are thrifting now. So you can get the awesome finds now. But you still got to watch out for the corona. Because people's in there just coughing up lungs all over the clothes. Nasty. I don't know if he was covering his mouth or not. I don't think he could. He was dying over. Just dying in, in the goodwill. I said, somebody called an ambulance. That's, the, that's the, exactly the voice. I know he heard me. I know he heard me. <laughs> I, I'm i just trying to tell him he need to go home, lay down in his bed. He don't need to be in the goodwill, hacking up a lung. The whole lung was about to shoot on out. It probably shot out and went back down. He probably coughed it up and it went back down. I don't know, but I just know it was nasty. It was nasty. So let me get into this haul, though. I done been talking, 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 talking. Let's get into it. See what I got. Of course, I got some more ties. Got some more ties. My fiance is the happiest person around. Got all these nice ties. I didn't get him. But I just got these ties for the designs. I like the designs in them. Some of them are a little, like this is a Nautica tie. But it, see that? It's, yeah, see that? That's, that's really nice. That orange, like an orange, navy blue, and a cream. I like that. It almost, it reminds me of African Ankara print uh, fabric. So that's why I got this one, because it just reminded me of Ankara print. It's really cool. It's shiny. See, it's like a shiny, shimmery. And the all ties are $1.99. I 
I, be, I, I had to go buy me some more vitamins. But I had been taking my vitamins, but I ain't took them for like two, three weeks. I've been taking my vitamin C, but I'm about to run out of that. But I, I bought some more. I think I bought some more vitamin C, too. I bought some more vitamin D, and I bought some more women's daily. So I, I'm taking my vitamins. I'm going to be taking them again. I just slacked a little bit. So that's why I wasn't trying to be around this man hacking up a lung. And then look at this. This is pretty. I like this one. And it has a little pink. Or See, it got yellow and pink. Look at that. Look at the details in that tie. I'm like, this is a nice little tie. And this is Jase Bank, which Jase Bank is an expensive brand as well. But I mainly got it because of the, the design. I, I like that. I really like that tie. Whenever I finally get to go to Nigeria so we can get married, since Nigeria has banned us now, we're banned. That's what we get for banning them. But yeah, all the countries, main countries with the corona are banned from traveling to a lot of countries. Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, traveling to any of them countries right now. They said, uh-uh, we don't want y'all. We don't want y'all. We don't want y'all money. We ain't fooling with y'all. Y'all not going to get us sick. Y'all ain't getting us sick over here like yet. After that, Italian went to Nigeria and gave them out. Everybody who has had the corona in Nigeria, it was people that was traveling back home or people traveling to visit from the other infested countries. So when they figured that out, they said, boop, y'all not coming here. But they was quick to quarantine people. They weren't playing. They was checking people off the plane. And this one, I like the design, too. It almost reminds me of the other one. It's almost kind of Ankara-ish to me, too. It's a red, and that's red. Y'all can see it's the right color showing. And this is um, Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers. And this one's just pretty. I just thought this was a nice little simple. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. He will he will rock that to work. And it's Nordstrom. That's why I got that. Nordstrom. And then another Nautica that kind of reminded me of Ankara. African Ankara fabric. So that's why I got this one as well. And it's Nautica. So that's the ties for you all. And let me show, what should I go to next? The purses or the scarves or shoes? We're going to go to the scarf. The scarf that I got. The scarves. Scarves. Scarves, scarves, scarves. Oh, dollar like that too. Dollar like that. And look at this one. Look at this one. I was debating if I'm going to put it on my posh or if I'm going to keep it. It's pretty nice little. This is more of a wrap, I guess. Let me see. It's pretty big. It's just a simple sheer wrap, but it has this detail. It's like, see that? Can y'all see the gold? Yeah, the little gold details on it. And I think it had another detail, didn't it? Maybe not. But yeah, it just has that gold detail on the tassels, the little tassels on both ends of it. Um, I got the other scarf mixed with it, but I got this also because it is. Uh, can y'all see that? Uh, no, y'all can't. It is. Can y'all see? I can get it. There we go. Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer is backwards, but yeah, that's why I got it. I was like, oh, that's Lily Pulitzer for a $1.99. It's a cute little, sheer little. It's cute. Cute, cute, cute. So I don't know if I'm going to keep that for myself or if I'm going to put it on my Poshmark. I just think it's cute. I might keep it for myself to wear, you know, over my wedding when I get married, like over my shoulders at my wedding or something. I don't know, because I'm going to have like, probably a dress that's just cut here and my arms and stuff will be out. I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. And then I got this one, because I just thought this was cute, little simple, little black and white. And it was new with tags. Look at that. New with tags, Liz Claiborne. Silk. It says it's silk, but it don't feel like silk. It says Liz Claiborne silk. New with tags. And this is more than likely going on my posh mark. Going on my posh. Not for much. Probably about five bucks. Something like it. About a foot my nine. Thank you. Thank you. It is some pretty little scarf. Look at this. That Kate Spade, oh, uh, they had a few Kate Spades, but the smaller ones. This is just a little scratch, but I'm like, that's a nice little Kate Spade, uh, 
phone cover. I think it fits my phone, my iPhone 6s. Hopefully it does. I was hoping it did. That's why I got it. Got this case paid. Uh, I think it's either 99 cent or $1.99. So that's not bad for a Kate. Kate, Kate, Kate Spade. You love scars, bitch? What? It's going to be on my posh that Liz Claiborne will new tag. Five dollars. Five dollars. But that Lily Pulitzer, I'm probably going to wear that at least once. Then I'm going to put it on my posh. Okay. Oh, and I have some more. I got an Otter Box for a dollar ninety nine. Just an Otter Box. Otter, 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 Otter. A great Otter Box. What else? I got? got any more cases? No. So now I'll go to the little purses. There's a purse. Look at this purse. This is cute. Look at this purse. That's the only reason why I got it. I'm like, this is really cute. Look at it. I'm keeping this for a little bit before I sell it. Look at this. It's adorable. I guess it's so cute. Look at it, y'all. Don't y'all agree or am I just overreacting? I love flowers, though. But I'm, look at this detail. Look at that. This is so pretty. If you have to look chain, um, it's like so. I guess the chain part is gunmetal, gunmetal. And then leather, and it looks brand new, and it's Nine West. It's just Nine West, but it's beautiful to me. I'm like, it is, it's adorable. Yeah, it is unique. It is, and it looks brand new. Look at the inside, and and the, the details don't stop here. The details don't stop here. Look at the inside. Look at that beautifulness, like a lace. Detail, I'm like wow, that Nine West did it with this one. They was on some stuff with this. They was on. Some, they was serious about this purse, about this little purse. They was real serious with the details on this little purse. It is adorable for three ninety nine. I guess purses three ninety nine or four twenty nine. Some's four twenty nine. Shoes are three ninety nine. Purses I think are four twenty nine. But I had to get it. I was like, I know it's just Nine West, but it's, this is adorable. And Nine West really ain't cheap. It's just cheaper than other stuff. But you find a lot of Nine West in the thrift store, but not something so unique as this. So that, I just love it. I can't wait to wear this. Maybe I'll have to do a haul or something. I'll probably save it for when I go to Nigeria because I'm going to be styling and profiling in Nigeria now. We both going to be. We got ideas of outfits we're going to put together to take like weddings pictures and stuff so we got all these outfits and yeah so we're gonna be styling and profiling this would be a perfect purse for one of those outfits maybe maybe hey stephanie greetings greetings then i got this one which is adorable i'm selling this this is going on posh but it's a very cute i saw it i was like it's now this purse looks like this ain't no cheap purse i didn't know the brand but I looked at the person and I could tell, okay, these details on this purse, this ain't no cheap purse. And it's a cute purse. But they didn't know the brand yet either. And I guess they didn't tell, they didn't care to research it. But I was like, well, this is a cute, simple, just a cute, simple. See, I saw that detail, the, that button detail. I was like, oh, this this ain't. And then it got that detail going around the side. This is just on the handle as well. Nice big purse. And the inside has that same detail on it that's on the handle. Uh, I'm trying to show the, let me show the full inside. And look at that. Get into that. I saw that. I said, this is not a cheap purse. Ain't no way. This ain't no cheap purse. I snatched it up real quick. and then I, But first I researched it. I take my phone in there, research these brands. This brand is, uh, shoot, I can't read it on that side. Borbo, Borboni or something, Borboni. Let me see. B O R B O N E S E, Borboness, Borboness. I guess that's how you pronounce it. But I looked it up, and I think these person, this person, was, this person sell for like one hundred and fifty-seven dollars, hundred and something, hundred ninety, eighty-seven dollars. They was up in the hundreds. Was not cheap. So I was like, I knew my eyes was not were not deceiving me that this person was something that was. Not cheap. And it's cute. It's cute. It's not. It's a really cute purse. I really like it. So it will be on posh. 
it will be on posh. And my little just look cute little person. It has a couple of pockets on the inside. It is like very clean. I haven't even had to clean this. It's like they didn't even use it. Cause look at the inside of this purse. It's not dirty. There's a couple of little stains, probably makeup right there. Just probably some makeup, but other than that, this purse looks like they probably used it once or twice. So that will definitely be on my posh. Oh, it is a little dirty on this side. Now that I just saw that, but I can clean that. That ain't gonna take. Y'all could probably see the little stain. Yeah, give them little stains. So I'm sure I can clean them right out. That's oxy clean and some. <coughs> just choked myself on my spit. No corona, no corona. <coughs> choked on my spit, y'all. <coughs> Clear the path. Corona brain. Okay, and oh, I didn't even remember getting these clothes. I'm seeing clothes. Didn't remember getting clothes. I thought I just got one skirt. Oh, that's another jacket. So I got this skirt. Thank you, thank you. This skirt's just simple. And blue was the color that was, I don't know if it was 99 cent day I went or half off day. I think it was half off day I one of the half off days I went. And it's just a simple little cute little brown and Tiffany blue skirt. I just liked it just because it's simple but cute. So for two dollars, who cares? It's simple but cute. Looks very comfortable, feels very comfortable. It's this brand. I don't know who um Nina Leonard. Nina, yeah, lit Nina Leonard. I didn't look the brand up. I just like to have a skirt look. So I don't know if she's if she's expensive or no. But I just thought the skirt was cute and I was getting it for myself to wear to church. And eventually in the future wear to work when I get back in my field and get out of a daggone Amazon plant. Uh, and then I got so that was probably two dollars half off or whatever or four. And then I got this new with tags. And I mainly got it because the price on this tag is $70. $70.99. And it's called it's um simply simply dang, I can't even see what that brand is because the price tag is covering Noel N O E L L E. Simply Noel, but the price of $70, and I got this for the regular price. I think of a jacket. I don't know, is my price? Uh, I, I think I paid the price of a jacket, either price of a jacket or price of a shirt, which shirts are $4.29, jackets are $6.29. So one of the two is what I paid, and it's branded with tags, and it's like a suede. It's suede. I don't know if it's suede or microfiber, but for 70 bucks, I would say it's suede, but it's not heavy. Let me see what the material is. Well, they're saying wash separately before you use cold, gentle machine wash. So what is this fabric? The fabric is 32, 92% polyester and 8% spandex. So it's not suede, but it feels like a suede. It's like a feels like a suede. It's real, it feels like wonderful. Wonderful. And it's a size 2X. Thinking about my 2X, folk. Got y'all something. Simply Noel, size 2X, which is a 16. What's that say? 16 to 18. And it's got the 10 around. It's just cute. It's really cute. It's cute now, y'all. And it has the sleeves with this little tan part. And that it would be real cute with a tan dress or a brown dress or, you know, a little fitted dress. With, but you got to wear a little fitted dress and put your little jacket on over. Put your little kind of wrap jacket on over Hey, Nova, welcome, welcome, welcome. But yeah, I got that. And then look at this thing I got. Well, look what I got here. This jacket right here that I got. Let me show y'all. Look, look, look. Ain't this cute? It reminds me of like the Lion King or Lion. I'm a mean old lion. Hey, because I'm a mean old lion. This is real fur y'all real fur real fur i looked this brand up at the seeing the coat because i looked at the coat i was like hmm then i seen something about some fur take it to a fur cleaner or to get cleaned on the coat i said oh so this is real fur no oh, me no lie blue jeans a blue jean jacket denim blue jean whatever you want to call it with the little fade thing going on and has the fur on 
sleeves and the fur clean on down just like a whole lion you're just a whole whole lion oh and it looked like it would fit me but it says size zero it's like a weird size and i didn't try it on but i'm about to try it on for y'all right now oh it fits me oh it fits me let's see Ooh, it fits me boy i could be styling and profile put a cute little dress on with this and some heels boy be cute 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 looking like the queen of the jungle the queen of the jungle. A wee mo wet, a wee wet, a wee wet, a wee In the jungle, the quiet jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. I made up my own words. It's the mighty jungle, ain't it? Ooh, 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 <laughs> but look, and this is fur. This fur. I don't know if it's mink or if it's fur. It's one of the two, but it feels so good. Feels so good. Just imagine this though with a real cute outfit. Be thinking you Faith Evans or some. I remember the way you used to love me. Be thinking you Faith Evans or something off in here. Off in here. Thinking you a whole movie star, Mary J. Blige or something. You remind me of a memory. I'm making up words, y'all, again. Let me get out of here. Real love. I'm looking for a real love. Someone to give my heart. I made up a word to set my heart free. Real love. I'm looking for a real love. So this remind me of 2000, year 2000, Mary J. Blige, Faith Evans, something. This, this styling, profiling, just, just, just cute. But I looked this dress up. Let me tell y'all what the brand is. That's how I look. I always look at stuff up when I think now this seems like it's got some value. So I got to look and make sure before I pass it up because this wasn't regular price. This was 24 99 yeah they try to they try to cover like i guess i don't know if it was sold at an outlet or what because they marked the name out um can y'all see that but that is the brand which is sam rome so sam r-o-n-e paris and so i looked this up and i think these are going i think these go for like 200 and something almost 300 dollars but what made me look was what made me look a little deeper was that when I looked at the tag and it said that dry clean furrer only do not wash. I said, oh, that is fur or mink or something that you got to get a fur person to clean. And it don't seem like it was worn. So I don't know if this person bought this and just didn't wear it. It has no odor, no nothing. That's why I put it on because I usually don't try clothes on when the Goodwill today washed. But this smells brand new brand spanking new i don't know who would buy a 300 dollar jacket and not wear it somebody who's just rich and likes donating to the goodwill i don't know but they didn't wear that if they wore that ain't no kind of body smell on that jacket so that one is that's that who says that that's that one uh girl that always trying on clothes. What's her name? I can't, but she'll be like, that's that. Then she'll try something else on. She's a heavy set, she's full figure. But she always trying on something. She says, that's that. With every outfit. Um, y'all might know if y'all watch people try on hauls and stuff. Then I got this. Isn't that cute? Dollar ninety nine. It's for myself. Y'all know I get selfish. Can I get my hand in it though? See, look at that. Can I even get my big hand? Oh, oh, I don't know why I'm going through this because what if I can't get it off, y'all? What if I can't get it off? Oh, Lord. I don't want to sell this. I like this. It's like a knit. See that? Cheetah print. Cute bracelet. Maybe I just need some lotion. Oh, they usually have no problem getting these things on. Let's try again. Let's try, y'all. I ain't going to break my hand. Let me try this hand again. It was getting there. Ooh. Oh, 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 <laughs> Corona brain. I don't think I can fit this. That's my little hand going to have to.
to a kid. It's not fair. It's really cute. Isn't that cute for a dollar ninety nine? It's just the bracelet, no brand or anything. I just thought it was cute and adorable. I'm mad that my hand is so big that I can't fit the freaking bracelet. It'll fit my wrist, but it's getting it over this big hand to get it on. Darn it, I'm mad. I wish I had a little stretch or something to it. Somebody's going to get a really cute bracelet. I may have to give this to my apostle. I can see her wearing this. May have to give it to her. It'll fit her. My big wide hands. That sucks. I was trying, y'all, but then it would have just been stuck. And I don't need to wear this bracelet every day of my life for the rest of my life. I'm mad, though. I wish I tried it on this stuff because it's cute. <laughs> and if it don't fit, Stephanie, you must acquit. So I acquit. Too bad, so say it. And then I got... Ha! My mama bird! You killed my mama bird! <laughs> yeah, that was the funny episode, Noble. The first time about Martin Lawrence. You didn't kill my mama bird! Why you kill my mama bird? <laughs> yeah, in the 90s and 2000s, Martin was the stuff, y'all. You kill my mama bird! Kill my mama bird! Why? You didn't want my mama bird! <laughs> But look at this. Ain't this a cute look? This is cute, ain't it? It's one of those key purses. I, I don't think it's a brand. I just thought it was cute. And I have an ill skin purse. And I'm assuming this is ill skin. It looks like ill skin. And I have a black ill skin purse that I don't even think I put on my Poshmark yet. And I've had it forever to put on my Poshmark. That this would be a, a, extra, a cute little token to go with it if somebody buys the ill skin purse. So, and it's one of those little key fob, little keys. Thing. Do you call them key fobs? What do you call these little things? I see people with Louis Vuitton ones all the time, like Miss Billy and all these other thrifters that find Louis Vuitton ones. But this one is really in great condition. Little eel skin. It has to be eel skin because that's what it looks like to me. It's really nice. Look at that, though. It's in great. Did they even use this little thing? I don't think they used it at all. It doesn't have no brand. I don't know. I don't see a brand on it. I'm trying to look on the Royal, looking at the button to see what that says. It says Royal something. Royal Hawk. That's what it looked like it says. Royal Hawk. H-O-C-K. I don't know. And then it has a patent number. Or Royal Hour. I don't have my magnifying glass over here, but See the Royal Hawk or Royal Hour. Royal something. But it's just a nice little key key fob. What she what Miss Pilly got you confused about about what her black sugar daddy? <laughs> what what you confused about, uh Martha? I know she's be talking about that black he, he be talking about that black uh sugar daddy. <laughs> you said, hey, she getting that money from them sugar daddies. Hey, they won't pay her. These people, that's the big thing on YouTube right now. People talking about their sugar daddies and they try to teach people how to be sugar babies and how you get that money. And they get on their videos and show all their money. That and strippers. Strippers showing how much money they made that night and what they're going to do with their money and showing all this stuff, expensive stuff. They'd have made $1,000 a night. All that bad temptation. All that bad temptation. They just got that money just from talking to sitting in the restaurant, talking to somebody for 15 minutes. He gave you $500. That's when Miss Philly got $500 at one time because she got mad at him. He gave her 400 Then she got mad at him because he grabbed the arm all crazy and then uh, gave him 500 And then the next day when he was trying to apologize some more, gave her 300 just to sit in the restaurant and talk. Like, uh, am I going to be a sugar baby? <laughs> these people getting paid just to sit and talk but then you gotta think something's in, going on in that person's mind that gets, that's giving you that money so you don't know if you really got a stalker or what you don't want to end up on fatal attraction nor for my man nor first 48 nor snapped nor stalked nor none of them shows that I watch <laughs> none of them shows that I watch because they are very interesting 
but you don't want to end up on none of them shows. You never know because some of these people be dating these people for one month and this person turns around and kills them. Or some of these people date these men for one month and they turn around and do something crazy, kill somebody else or rob somebody, do something crazy for a man. So now nah, y'all don't want to end up on none of them shows, but them shows are so interesting. They on YouTube if you don't know. Okay, I think I showed everything in this bag. Let me make sure. Let me make sure I ain't leave nothing now. All right, now let me get to this other bag. Let me get to the other bag. Oh, yeah. A lot of the people that sugar daddies are married, so I, I don't know why they just want to pay all that money come talk to you in the restaurant and stuff. I don't know. There's another woman that talks about sugar days and tries to, Oh, here we go. Here's the receipt. And I can see how much that, uh, what well, I just has the shoes. Oh, yeah, because I bought some stuff and I went back and bought some. That's what it was. I bought the stuff in that bag. Then I said, Oh, I didn't even look at the shoes. Can you put this bag behind the counter so I can go look at the shoes just to make sure I didn't miss nothing? And he put the bag behind the counter for me and I went to look at the shoes. So I spent total $21 on shoes on that bag. I can't remember what I spent because that receipt ain't in there. But I told you how much each item cost. But of course, when I went back to look at the shoes, Al's, I found some great shoes to resell and to keep for me and my greedy shoe selfish self. But I found these nice little loafers. They need to be cleaned up, though. They need to be cleaned up, but they still got the tags in them. They've probably been worn a few times, but not much enough because the price on the tag still shows. And this is the sale price, I think. Yeah, that's the sale price from Nordstrom. Let's say Nordstrom Rack. Oh, yeah, Nordstrom Rack. That's the Nordstrom Rack price. $79.90. But you see what the record compare at $178. But the Nordstrom Rack sale price was $79.90 on these Kohans. Patent leather. Pink Kohan loafers. Probably worn like maybe three times a month. Not much. Not much. Cause that's like some that the wooden parts, just the middle part, and then that's rubber on the sole. Don't I hope you ain't burning them chicken wings. Uh, these are size. They say nine B, but they look little, don't they? But they say nine B, but they cute, ain't they? Just simple little work shoes, church shoes, whatever. Simple. And they say size nine. Yeah, cause they say nine. They nine. That's what it says right there. Size nine. Which means I probably can fit them, but they probably be a little tight because I'm nine and a half, ten. But these are size nine. Cute little. Just need to be wiped down. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Kohan. 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 It ain't no shut. What's shut down, uh, Noble? I think Goodwill's still open here. But I got this. I got this um, two weeks ago. I didn't get it last this past week. I got it the week before it. Like I told them, this man was hacking up a lung, about to pass out of the aisle across from me. I said, no more thrifting for me, coronavirus. No more thrifting for me. You over about to die, and you in the goodwill. No more thrifting for me. So, yeah, yeah. Not so, no, so, no ma'am. No ma'am, no sir. I ain't messing around, but hey, I got some good deals why people wasn't really thrifting because the corona was already out. People wasn't really in there for real. People was in it, but not like normal. So you get the good fans to find all this on one trip. Just imagine the stuff you if the thrift stores are still open where you are that you could find. Like Miss Philly been finding some nice stuff lately because people ain't really thrifting. But I ain't chancing it and going right now, even though I have to go to work still. But I ain't going off in the good way right now. Chance it, I done chanced it a couple weeks ago. It was enough. When that man was hacking up a lung, about to fall out right there. 911. Someone please call 911. Tell them I just got coughed down and the germs pierced my heart and it's piercing through my soul. Woo. Feel my body. Getting cold, so cold. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> now she met up with a guy yesterday. Was a black sugar daddy. But yeah, these penny loafers size nine will be on my posh. They're not on there yet, but they will be on my posh mark. Some old Kohans, nice, 
Like I said, the sale price of Nordstrom Rack was $79.99. So these ain't no cheap little loafers. I wish they was my size because they are cute little, simple little. I like how it's pink here, then the black, and then you got the pink on the heel. Then I got, what, what else I want to put? I want to show next. Oh, these cute little shoes right here. Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. Patent leather black. Little cute little. Ain't them cute? These little cute little wedges. They wedges. Calvin Klein. Patent leather black. See? Let me show y'all. Look if y'all can read it on this one. I don't know. Kind of rubbed off. The Calvin Klein. Maybe this one. Well, it's still got like a price tag covering up stuff. Part of the price tag on there. But yeah, Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein. And this is probably, I think this was my size. I don't know. Let me see. See, it had a sticker on the bottom. Probably it's rubbed off, so they did wear it a few times. It is size. I think I thought it was a 10, but let's see. Yeah, 10 medium. It is a size 10 medium. If I can move my finger, yeah. 10 medium. Which is my size, and they're very, very cute. Simple black Calvin Kinds. And I was going to be greedy and keep them for myself, but I think I'm going to put them on my posh mark. They're going on my posh. But if they don't sell, if they take too long to sell, I will put them on myself. Because they're cute. Simple black, have leather, peep toe, wedge, shoe. Then I got. This shoe, look at this shoe, y'all. Look at this shoe. It is adorable. 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 You see it? Y'all see it? Hold on. Let me. I'm fastening this so y'all can get the full effect. The full effect of this shoe. And y'all should know what brand it is, knowing the how I'm talking about it before I show y'all the brand. Somebody know what brand it is. What brand is this shoe before I show you? Let's see if somebody can guess. What brand is this shoe? Anybody, anybody know? Anybody know? Nobody's going to guess what brand this shoe is. Gunmetal. It's gunmetal. That's the color of this beautiful. Nope. Nope. Noble's wrong. Angela's wrong. Martha's going to get it right. Watch. Watch. Nope, she's wrong too. Noble's wrong again. What brand would I talk so nice about? Y'all have forgotten already. Y'all forgot already because I ain't really said much about it lately. I haven't had much of it lately. But y'all will see now. <laughs> it is Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Y'all know I'm crazy about some Ralph Lauren and Lauren by Ralph Lauren. No. <laughs> yeah, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Y'all yeah, too late now. I already told you. Not that you typed that before I said it, but I didn't see it till after I said it. But it's Lauren by Ralph Lauren. And they just dusty. These shoes are in great shape. And I think they my size, but I said I was not going to be selfish with these either. That I'm going to put these on my posh. Mark, it's only a couple of shoes in this bag that I said I'm probably gonna keep. Now I might trade these out for another pair, or these don't fit me. That's why I wasn't keeping these because these ain't my size. That's what it was. Because if these were my size, I think I would have kept them. Because look at them, ain't they cute? They cute. These are cute, cute, especially for the spring gun metal. These are cute. These are size eight, eight medium. So some lucky size eight person's gonna get these adorable. Gun smoke, whatever you call it, color. Gun metal. Ralph Lauren heels, because they're going on my posh. They're going, they're going, going, going. Going, going, going. They'd be perfect for like prom or whatever. If you have a dress gun metal or whatever other color goes with gun metal, I don't know. It looked like they would go with that purse, but that purse is more of a silver. But that purse is so adorable. Let's see. This, but it has gun metal. Look at that. Do they go? Do they go? They do. Girl, what you talking about? Girl, what you talking about? But this is my purse, so y'all can't have it. 
Nobody can't have it. Who gets these shoes? Y'all better go get your own. Like in that commercial, no, my brother, you got to go get your own. But they go perfect with these shoes. Look at that. Look at that. Because mm -mm 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 -mm. it has the gunmetal on the chain as well. So it goes. They go. They go. They go. Somebody would think they was cute, but they're not getting this purse. Mm -mm, no, sir, no, ma'am. No, sir, no, ma'am. Not getting the purse, but you can have the shoes because they don't fit me. Lauren by Ralph Lauren, size eight, medium. All right. On to the next. <laughs> you would have bought them? Yeah, they cute. I don't know if I would have sold them if there's nine and a half. Because you know nine and a half, ten is my size. I don't know if I would have sold them. I'm selfish when it comes to Lauren by Ralph Lauren. But I have to sell those because they don't fit me. They size eight. They real cute too. They man, and you would have rocked them too, Noble. If they, I know you would have styled and profiled them. She would have styled and profiled them on her page. And these right here, they're gonna have to be cleaned up. And these are just plain, basic. They're satin, I guess. But they need to be cleaned up. They dirty. They just plain little basic um, shoe dress shoes. But they're. Donald Pliner, Donald J. Pliner. Again, I found another pair of Donald J. Pliner. They just need to be cleaned up real good. Um, they dusty, dirty, but they size um, 10. See that? Can y'all see? Yeah, 10 medium. My size. Look at that maroon bottom. It's like a plum. A plum bottom is pretty cute. That's what I like. That is a nice color bottom. It's not a red bottom. It's a plum bottom. These are plum bottoms. These are fruity shoes. Get your fruity shoes. And then this plum in the inside as well, back on the back part. You can't really tell. That rhymed. The plum in the inside as well, back on the back part, and you can't really tell. Yee! Give me the contract right now. Corona brain. But yeah, that, yeah, back there, that's plum to match the plum bottoms. These are fruity shoes. Donald Pliner, great find because Donald Pliner is expensive. These are probably $200 or more shoes, even though they're simple. Probably $250, something like it. And then my last pair of shoes, last but not least, are these two. And those Donald Pliners. Size 10, I think I was going to keep for myself because that's basic and I could just wear them to church with when we have to wear black or whatever. They're basic and they look comfortable because look at the heel on them. Comfortable, basic, not on pliners. So yeah, I'll probably keep them for myself. That was, that was the plan. That was the plan. I don't know. But I know I'm definitely keeping these right here for myself. For myself. For myself. For myself. For myself. You did, you, yeah, I did. That's what I said. Back to back, found I found Donald Pliner twice, and that's rare. I don't find him that often, but right now you find them people. You probably go in there and find like I found that Gucci tie brand new with tags. You probably find some Gucci purses. You probably find Louis Vuitton right now. You probably will, but I ain't going in there no more because that man trying to kill me. That man trying to kill me. I ain't got time. Him coughing up a lung off in the Goodwill like that. Not necessarily that he'd be there again, but I ain't taking no chances. He didn't work there. He was just shopping, but he was coughing up a lot. Look at these. Look at them. I couldn't pass them up, y'all. I said, these are mine. I'm not selling them. These are mine. $3.99. And look at this. This is like a nice soft leather. This leather is really soft. And then the patent leather tips is like tan and like a chocolate brown. Chocolate brown. I don't know if y'all can tell it's chocolate brown. It looks black in the camera. There y'all can y'all can kind of tell. Yeah, it's a chocolate brown and tan. It's dirty. Just need to be cleaned. But look at that. Kohans. Kohans. And these are 10 and a half. So I wear a nine and a half 10. So I'm hoping that these don't feel too big on my feet. Because they're adorable. Inside and out. Inside and out. Adorable. I love them. Love them. Love them. That's why I made them the thumbnail. Because I love them. 
Love them, love them, love them. Man, yeah, that garbage bag. I said, no, she didn't. And she was serious. She wasn't playing. She was on the news. So that is the haul for y'all that just came for the haul. That's the haul. But y'all that came for a little chit chat about this corona and all the mess and all the silly stuff that's been going around. All the silly stuff, the funny stuff. Y'all want a little left. Y'all hang on in there. But if y'all just came from the hall, that was that's the hall. And then go back and rewind if you ain't get to see the hall. But I got some good stuff. But that's my last thrift haul to this corona stuff is over. Unless I just get really curious. Really curious. Because I am kind of curious. And I know the Goodwill's probably still open. And I want to go see if they got some Gucci Fendi Louis off in there. Because people ain't really thrifting. So you don't know what you can find. And we got the Salvation Army. It was just, just got rebuilt. And I don't know if it's open yet, but it was opening soon. I don't know what kind of stuff they got in there. I would like to see, especially like a grand opening. But I'm thinking that they probably pushed back the grand opening since all this Corona mess. I don't know for sure. But I would say they have. And I don't know if the Goodwill's still open, but I know this this week it was still open. So I don't know if it's closed like today. But we haven't had to shut down, shut down here yet. Stuff's still open, like Dollar General. Walmart's open, but they close at 8 p.m. Aldi's still open. I mean, things are open. They not closing yet. Kroger's still open. They just changing their hours a little bit. But Kroger's, they even wiping down your, your buggies when you bring them back. They got the sanitizer spraying it down, wiping it down, wiping it down. So, so Kroger's is being very sanitary, which is good. They wiping stuff down. They wiping the, after each person that, that buys, they sanitizing the look, the, the countertop, the whatever you call it, the term, whatever the thing is that, you, that moves when you pay for your stuff, counter. They sanitizing that. So Kroger's is being very safe. And I did stock up. If you saw my Instagram pictures I put on there, and yeah, I stocked up from Aldi a couple weeks ago and then Kroger's this week. So we good to go around here. I hope y'all good to go around there. And if you don't got toilet paper, you got the baby wipes. See, I was told y'all, remember I told y'all about the baby wipes? People weren't thinking about it. Now the baby wipes are selling out. They sell, they selling off the shelves. Poor babies can't even get their butt wiped. Poor babies can't even get their butt wiped because people like me buying the baby wipes up. But yeah, baby wipes, tissue working just fine for us because our toilet paper ran out because I didn't run out there when people was buying it. But hey, this tissue works just fine. These baby wipes work just fine. I'm supposed to have baby wipes anyway. Because if you Google, you need baby wipes anyway. And what else? Oh, napkins. If it's the last resort, I bought some napkins too. But those will be the last resort. Got for now using the little tissues and the baby wipes. But don't use too many baby wipes. If you can get the flushable, get the flushable because you will clog your toilet up using the baby wipes. That's why it's only if you boo boo, you need the baby wipes. Don't use the baby wipes if you pee. That's too much baby wipes. Xbox bowling. Well, go on and beat them. Go on and beat them, uh, Martha and the Xbox bowling. <laughs> yeah, garbage bag duct tape is a new fashion statement. She wasn't trying to make no fashion statement. She was serious. She thought that garbage bag was going to save her. She put that garbage bag on, and then she had a Walmart, what was it, Dollar General bag over her head, a face mask, and then one Dollar General bag on one foot and a Walmart bag on the other foot. I said, and she was serious. And then the man sprayed his son down coming out the school, sprayed them all in the face with the Lysol. Like, what is going on in the world today? Somebody call CPS. Somebody call CPS. <laughs> you going to kill your child to try to protect yourself? You just sprayed them all in the face when he come out of the school with the Lysol. The po polar boy, po teenager. But yeah, I'm glad all y'all doing well. I'm glad none of y'all got a cough or hack or sneeze unless it's allergy. I'm glad none of y'all got this corona rona. Hey, Vivian, you be good too and you be safe. Y'all all be safe. Be smart. Be wise. If you don't got to go to work, don't go. But I got to go because I need that money. And today, tell us, today, I'm waiting for the president to say national quarantine. That's what I'm waiting for. We need a national two-week quarantine so people can stay their sick bus in the house, get healed up. And then we can probably travel eventually and all that because I did want to get married, but now I can't because 
the freaking ban Nigeria has because of Corona on the main Corona countries, which of course United States is considered the main one now. Any country over 200 cases, with over 200 cases is considered ground zero. Even though my city only has like 20, well, no, Kentucky has like, had like 27. I don't know what the number is now. I think it's like 40 something, but I, my city only has like one or two cases, but it doesn't matter because I'm from the US. So I'm banned, which sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. But like my apostle preached today, get in the boat and trust God. Don't get in the boat and sit there and be like, what's going on? Are you going to let us die? Is the corona going to get us? Wake up, Jesus, wake up. He might be sleeping and resting, but he ain't, he ain't not, he's not, not paying attention. He's just shaking things up a little bit to let y'all know that he exists, to let the government know that they don't have the power because they think they control, can control everything and that God ain't real, even though it says in God we trust. He had to show all these countries that he's real and he's in control. And they all like, we don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to do. They better pray and hope God reveals some things to them, give them a little revelation. Because he let us know real quick, bam, I'm still in control. Y'all think y'all got this all together. Y'all think y'all can stop anything. If I want to send a plague in the land, like I did in the Bible days, I can do it. And what y'all gonna do until I give y'all the knowledge and the wisdom to free yourself from this plague? He's letting us know. I said, he's giving us a little glimpse of revelations, a little glimpse. Some people talking about it's the apocalypse, it's the end. It's not the end, but he's letting us know if he wanna do it now, he could. If he wanna take us all out with a major plague, he good, because we're not prepared at all. And then he's also letting some people know who he is that don't believe in him. So people going to be believing after this, because never in my lifetime did I ever think something like this would happen. Never did I in my lifetime that I think. America will be unprepared because we were prepared for Ebola when Ebola was trying to sneak its way over. Boom. We weren't playing with that. And people got quarantined real quick. But Obama was the president then, even though people say it has nothing to do with it. But he had a pandemic team that was removed when Trump came in office. The pandemic team he got rid of because he was getting rid of everything Obama. So we weren't prepared. And everybody want to say, well, these other countries weren't prepared. <laughs> If we can stop Ebola from spreading, why can't we stop this corona? I'm just saying, Ebola is way more deadly, way more deadly than corona. Yeah, they are overreacting in other countries banning because, especially to ban the U.S. because we got like thousands of cases, but look how big the U.S. is compared to those tiny countries like Italy. Now, China is huge, of course, but Italy's tiny. So for Italy to have a thousand something cases, that is bad. But the U.S. is huge. So for us to have like 4,000, well, I don't know how many cases we got now, but it's not like the worst because you got to look at the cases by state. Some states are hit hard, but some states are barely hit. But it's the fact they keep stressing. It's more people to have it. It's millions of people to have it because some people have it and they don't show symptoms and they don't know they have it. Some people don't know and they carriers and blah, 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 so they're making it worse making it worse than what it is. So people, I think they're overreacting too, but the overreacting has turned into a major situation. But, and, and then at the same point, Trump was underreacting and then that's why it spread the way it spread. So it's like, it's a point of overreacting and a point of underreacting because if he would have reacted quicker with the travel bans and all that stuff, it wouldn't be to the point that it is now with it just spreading like wildfire. And I'm and I'm like, is it just because of travel bans or is it because the imports? Because, you know, everything's made in China. I don't know if they've even stopped the imports yet. Have they stopped them? And when did they stop them? Because everything's made in China. There's no made in the USA. I was made in the USA. Speaking of trying to talk, I was trying to sing a little country right there. 
I didn't know Kenny Rogers passed. Rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. You got to know where to hold them. Know when to fold them. Know when to walk away. Know when to run. You got to count your blessings. While they're laying on the table, there'll be time enough to something, something. I don't know the words. When the dealing's done, something like that. That's the words I sung when I was a kid. I made up words. I told you I made up words. I still be using the same made up words that I made up as a kid. But old Kenny Rogers, may he rest, rest in peace. Corona didn't get him. They said it was a natural death. Hospital, hospice. He was 81 years old. But I saw that about that on Boys to Men's Instagram. I said, oh, Kenny Rogers, the past, boy. Him and Dolly Parton, they was the ones back in the day. I was a little country when I lived in West Virginia and stuff for a couple of years. Then Lexington was a little country, too. Hey, Kenny Rogers was, was the thing back in the day now. Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. We're working nine to five. It's all taking and no giving. Working nine to five. It's a way to make a living. Yeah, I know that stuff. See, y'all don't be knowing. Y'all don't be thinking I be knowing them country songs and all that stuff. I know about some Dolly Parton and some Kenny Rogers and some Patsy Cline and some Crystal Gale. And I be knowing some stuff, man. My mama listened to all kinds of music. She listened to it all. She loved some Dolly Parton and some Kenny Rogers, and she loved some Crystal Gale. So rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. It's a sad situation, y'all. But all y'all, be good. Be good, be good, be good. And um, be safe. Be very, 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 very safe. Stop going to fast food. Stop going to restaurants if they still open. Most restaurants are closed down, but fast food is still open. Stop going. Stop going to fast food, y'all. <laughs> Thank you, Vivian. Hey, you got to try to have some fun in these times, in these times. I was thinking of a few little skits with my little character, I'm a B, that I ain't done nothing with. The old woman character that I do, that I act like she's my aunt. I ain't done nothing with her in a while, and I was going to come back with some skits. I've been thinking of them in my head. Hopefully, I get quarantined for two weeks so I can do them and put them up. Who knows? Because y'all, California is quarantined. Who else is quarantined? Washington, D.C.? Is Atlanta quarantined? Who else quarantined? Everybody's told to stay in, but some of us can't stay in because our jobs is um, not going to pay us unless we're sick. So, when you got bills, you got to pay them. So, we will see whenever Amazon decides to let us stay in. I said, this would be the time that I'm not working in an office setting anymore where I got laid off and have to work in a freaking plant and have to work. The things that happen. I'm not happy about that. That's the mad emoji. Right there. That's the angry emoji. I don't know if that looked mad enough or what. But corona brain. That's what's going on right here. Corona brain. I don't have corona, but I have corona brain. It's driving people crazy. Driving people crazy. Oh, you didn't know that? Yeah, Kenny Rogers' dad last yesterday. Yo, Kenny, I saw it on Boys to Men. I said, oh, man, oh, Kenny Rogers. Yep, old Dolly Parton still kicking, but she left a little thing on her Twitter or Instagram saying you don't you don't realize how much you love someone until they're gone or something. Yeah, but they, was, hey, they was buddies back then. They had hit songs together. And Willie Nelson. Did Willie Nelson die? Is, has he been dead? I don't know. He ain't dead, is he? Willie Nelson? Or he been dead? Willie Nelson been dead, ain't he? Don't tell me he just died, too. He been dead, ain't he? Let me see. I thought Willie Nelson been dead. Let me see. I might be killing people off before their time. Hold on. Let me check. Ah, oh, Willie Nelson's still alive and kicking. Well, he better go on and keep kicking. He's 86 years old. Well, go on with your bad self, Willie Nelson. You still alive and kicking. I ain't killing him off. God forgive me. He's living. He's alive. He ain't dead. You just uh, naming some of those other country singers. Okay. What's that? Cleave a little? What you mean? You meant live a little. <laughs> yeah. Got my SpongeBob up on me here. I said, I'm going to come just like this quarantine look. Quarantine fashion. This is quarantine fashion. See, the, see how the plaid is sticking up in the back? 
alfalfa staff alfalfa staff this is quarantine corona brain fashion here my son was like you had a your hair i was trying to fix your hair in the back i said i don't care this is quarantine fashion i did take out my jewelry stuff off my bed see and wash my sheets and wash my stuff and clean my and and redo my my bed fix my bed i actually did that how about that people I didn't wash my sheets. My son washed my sheets. <laughs> ah, I ain't washed none. He washed them. Because <laughs> he's sitting here. He ain't working right now. So he, he washed my sheets. True. That job be wearing me out 10 hours a day. Yeah, I, I got some skits on there. No, boy, you got to go way back. Well, my last skit probably was right before I went to Jamaica. I did a skit. The Usain Bolt skit. But yeah, I did skits um, when I first started off. I did a few skits with that I'm a B. If you go look and look at videos for I'm a Bay, and then I did a couple of African skits where I was acting like a, a Nigerian. But yeah, I used to do skits, and then I stopped. But I think I'm gonna do the I'm a Bay skit she, where she can't travel no more, so she mad. So she gonna be out here talking about she don't want no Corona from nobody. Don't come visit her. Don't come nothing. She gonna be singing her Corona songs. That's why I came up with some of those Corona songs. The I don't want Corona. Corona is a virus that gets no love from me. Hanging at the passenger side of your best friend's ride, trying to cough on me. I don't want Corona. <laughs> That's why I was coming up with those songs. <laughs> yeah, Willie Nelson's still laughing, kicking. He ain't playing. He living the best life. Living his best life. He's living his best life. He ain't going back and forth with you. Yeah, I see that you started. I said, oh, you was naming Willie Nelson. Yeah, oh, Willie Nelson. Uh, Randy Travis. You know, Randy Travis was real sick. What did he have? Cancer or something? But he's healing. He healed. He was on tour and he couldn't even um, sing and stuff. I think he's getting better again. Oh, Randy Travis. Randy Travis was the big star. I can't even remember his songs right now, but I used to be singing some Randy Travis. What is Randy Travis' song? The one I used to sing all the time. Let me look at Randy Travis. Randy Travis. That song I used to sing. Well, he had a few good songs, but. Yeah, forever and ever, forever and I'm gonna love you forever and ever, forever and ever, hey, amen. <laughs> Y'all ain't know I knew some country stuff. Y'all didn't know I could sing some country. Y'all just didn't know I am from Kentucky. I do live in Kentucky and I did live in West Virginia. Don't let it fool you. Don't let the skin color, even though I, I'm my skin color, you can't even count that my melanin is lacking, but don't let this hair fool you. <laughs> and the features, the African-American features fool you. I Hey, but you got that one black a country singer. What's his name? He has some good songs, too. I used to be jammed to his songs. What's the black country singer? Not the older one with the ugly mo on his face. He has some good songs, too. But the younger one. Uh... The Hootie and the Blowfish guy, I think he was on. He was in Hootie and Hootie and the Blowfish, but then he became a country singer. He got some good songs. I can't think of his name though. But I'm gonna love you forever and ever, forever and ever, forever and ever. I'm gonna love you forever and ever. Forever and ever, hey, man. <laughs> I got it down, boy. I got Randy Travis down. Oh, I'm going to let y'all people go. Let my people go. So y'all don't have to fool with me in this corona brain. But I just wanted to get on here, chit-chat with y'all, show y'all this haul, chit-chat with y'all, make sure everybody was okay and everything's fine. I see y'all fine. So... The next thing I might do is a skit. I don't know what I'll do next, but no more hauls to this corona. Rolls on by. Walk on by. That's all I have left. So let me have. I'm making no words. Let me stop. The tears and the pain that you caused me. 
when you say goodbye, walk on by. So, see, this is what Corona Brain does to you. This, this is it. This is it. Corona Brain. I don't have Corona, but I have Corona Brain because that's all you hear about Corona, 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 Corona. They got a Corona dance. They got Cardi B talking about coronavirus and all this stuff. And there's a dance and they're doing a little dance to the Corona. It's everywhere. It's just everywhere. And it's driving everybody crazy. Driving everybody crazy. Including me. I ain't worried about it. It's just I'm sick of hearing about it. And I want to be quarantined so I can just be off work for two weeks and get paid. And I want my $1,200 stimulus uh, package and then whatever they're going to give for my son or they going to give him a $1,200 check and give me a $1,200 check. How's it going to work? Because he's an adult now. So how does that work? They said each adult in the household gets $1,200. So I guess he gets a separate check. He ain't never filed taxes before, though. They said taxpaying citizens. He got filed taxes this year. I don't know. I don't know. I'm head of household. So do I get two $1,200 checks? And he don't get none. I'm trying to whisper so he don't know about it because he ain't getting it. If, if it come, he might get some of them, but he ain't getting the whole check. <laughs> Unless it come in his name. <laughs> Shut up. He's meddling. He already meddling. He already heard me. Trying to fake like he's whispering. But anyway, let me get on off here, y'all. Y'all be good. Be safe. Be smart. Be wise. Don't cough on people. Don't sneeze on people. Don't be around people coughing. Don't be around people sneezing. Don't be around these hackers sick. Fever people, these people that got the flu, these people they got allergies, these people they got whatever they got that could be corona. We don't want to be around them. Just watch yourself. Just check yourself before you wreck yourself. You don't want to be around this stuff. Just stay safe. And if anybody is sick that I don't know about that's missing, we're praying for you, man. We're praying for you, your family. We're praying for that little that um nursing home in Washington that is hit was hit very hard. Most of the victims that have died are in that nursing home. I pray that something good happens with them in Jesus' name and their families. Strengthen, strengthen, strengthen. In Jesus' name. And I pray for y'all. Stay safe. Be healthy. No corona. No sickness. No nothing. In Jesus' name. Y'all have food, water, drink. Y'all will be all right. We will survive. We will survive. Hey, hey. No, we will survive, y'all. So I'll talk to y'all. Next time, I'll keep up with y'all videos and y'all stuff. I've been watching your video, Noble, the little coach purse. It was a nice purse. That was a nice purse. And $12, what'd you pay? $12 for it? $12.99, something like it, $15, $14.99. Wasn't bad for that. It was a big purse. And, that, and you cleaned it up real well and fixed it up real good. Y'all watch uh, Noble's, Noble Strand. Watch her videos. She got a lot of good videos. Told y'all she'd be modeling and her thrifted fashion and buying nice purses and shoes and all that stuff and modeling and all that stuff. Fixing up purses and stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. And she also gives inspirational and spiritual advice. And she's an artist. So she has some of her art and all that. She's an art teacher. I think, ain't you an art teacher? I know you're a teacher. I think it's an art teacher. Yeah. Check her out. Noble Strength. She in here. And I will see y'all around, 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 around. Been around the road now. Yeah, yeah. I can't fight Corona. I don't know when. I don't know why. When it's gone away, but I don't know where cure can be. But I'm going to find it. Another Corona song for y'all to end out the video. <laughs> Love y'all, Team Randall. Be blessed. Be a blessing. And see y'all in the next video. Deuces. Peace out.